uh, just recently I was able to uh, uh, few, uh, use uh, cabbage or sable palm uh, to get a, a coal and uh, that's what I've got here um, what I, the, I haven't been able to get it any coal with it uh, in the past because uh, um, well um, I think the reason I was able to get the coal recently was because of two things one uh, and one I was able to uh, do a, a kind of a force uh, dry and uh, just spin in the burn hole here and that kind of uh, uh, dries it out any any moisture that might still be in the board. That's that's one thing. Um, and the other thing is to to get a stem, a dead stem that's as close to the uh, to the, the the trunk, the thickest portion as I could find. Uh, that way it gives the the spindle uh, an, enough enough space. And it's it's a little it's about the same, but it's pretty close. Um, gives it enough space uh, for enough friction to build up uh, toward the, the bottom of the board uh, to get a cold. So um, that's what I've got. I've got uh, just, it's all uh, cabbage or sable palm. Uh, and the fibers, uh, and so I've uh, shaved down, shaved down some uh, fibers inside this bundle of uh, cabbage, cabbage palm fibers. And I put a little, uh, little bit of frond inside as a coal catch. Because what I thought I'd do and is to uh, put the board inside, inside, so I don't have to worry about transferring the coal over. That way, if I get the coal, then I can just uh, flip the uh, the coal catch over in the bundle. It's already there. I don't have to transfer anything. Um, and uh, I've got a green. Uh, Part of a stem, of a, of a cabbage palm stem for the uh, uh, socket, and it's lubed. I think I think I used uh, um, backers leaf or something like that. Um, and uh, I got kind of a curve on the bow here. Uh, and I really don't know about this uh, this uh, cabbage palm uh, stem strips is what I used, uh, green strips, to make this cord. Um, and, it's, and, it's, and it's on par with, with making a uh, palmetto cord. Uh, it's really hard. Uh, you, can't, you can't leg roll it. It's stiff stuff, so it takes a, a, quite a while to, to, make, to make a cord like this. And then, uh, and then I don't know if it's strong enough because this is uh, the winter, fall, winter. This is winter, actually, late winter, so uh, this cord may not hold up at all. It may break. So I've got a backup. I, I'll use paracord or something to, uh, just in case, but uh, uh, we'll see how it does. I, I didn't make it long enough, so I can't really run the Egyptian method on it, and, and that would be the preferred method because uh, I may pop it, I may break it uh, using the uh, tension method, which I'm pretty much going to have to. Add to that fact of uh, being late winter, I'm here to get it at this flag pond, as you can see behind me. Um, and there's uh, plenty of dead dry grass in here, so you know if I get a coal here and the wind's kicking up, uh, I'm in this culvert. So if I get a coal and I blow this thing to flame, I'll drop it in the culvert. And I found a cup nearby, and I just put some water back here from the flag pond in, and I'll just douse it. So uh, that's it. Uh, let's see if I can get a coal with this, or if the cord pops, and I have to go to. Uh, Go to uh, see if I can get this a little tighter. See if I, if I have to go to the uh, paracord. I hope not.
see if I can run it at an angle so that I don't have cord rub. Let's try it. It's breaking. Yep. All right. Well, we'll switch out. that over. I got lucky this time. That's been a real struggle. <clears throat> sometimes I get it and sometimes I don't. Uh, <clears throat> using the uh, cabbage palm. Uh, and that's pretty much all cabbage palm materials. I originally started off with a... Uh, let me get this into the...
Usually I started off with a uh, <clears throat> cabbage palm cord, which broke, but uh, I went and switched to the paracord, but I got it anyway, finally. Um, sometimes you can get it right off the bat, sometimes you can't. Uh, what I did find out was um, it helps to use the thicker portion of the, of the uh, cabbage stem. I'll go ahead and knock this off and pour some water on it. Get that out because I'm right around a lot of uh, <clears throat> dry stuff and I don't want any of that to catch. So I got this gully here and I just knock it off in there and I've got a ditch full of water. I mean, I've got flag pond behind me with some water, so I just doused the uh, tender bundle for now. But anyway, um, <clears throat> I wanted to use the thicker portion of the stem and uh, it seems to work better because there's more depth to the board to work with um, also it, it, it seemed to help me to uh, when I used a spindle on it which is another uh, stem piece of stem is to uh, that I've whittled down into a spindle uh, to force dry the board and the spindle by just uh, spinning for a little while until it you know to get most of the moisture and all out of the board without really, you know, going for the coal. And then, and then later on go, go for the coal. So, yeah, sometimes it, you can get it right off the bat. Other times it's, it's just a real struggle, but uh, it works. So, uh, thanks for watching.